Hello, friends. This week's devotion is titled, Alert Messages. How is God getting your attention to help you stay on track with your mission this season? For me, He has highlighted a couple of key relationships and reminded me to remain steady and keep in touch. Both of these relationships embody my past, present, and future symbolically in different ways. There are key heritage elements to them that God is bringing around again to fulfill divine purpose. Acts 20 verse 31 tells us to be alert and discerning. To be alert means to be watchful and ready, to be clear-headed and responsive. God's alerts are intended to strengthen us. Ephesians 6 verse 15 says, to stand on your feet alert, then you'll always be ready to share the blessings of peace. God knows there is a lot going on in our lives. He doesn't want us to be distracted and miss sudden moments of opportunity for protection and blessing. No, He desires we be awake and attentive to His guidance. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 8 reveals a strategy by saying that we stay alert and clear-headed by placing the breastplate of faith and love over our hearts and a helmet of the hope of salvation over our thoughts. 1 Peter 1 verse 13 affirms this by saying, Prepare your hearts and minds for action. Stay alert and fix your hope firmly on the marvelous grace that is coming to you. For when Jesus Christ is unveiled, a greater measure of grace will be released to you. Not only is Holy Spirit highlighting key relationships, He is also extending grace to grow. He enabled me to see and experience a glimpse of something He forewarned me about recently. I believe He's building me up to face more of the same just ahead in greater measure. In these ways and many others, God protects us and works His new wine plan to establish right priorities that bless our lives. He knows the stronger we are in Him, the better equipped we will be to follow through with His directives, especially when challenges come. God desires that we be alert and overcome every form of evil. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 reminds us to be well-balanced and always alert, because your enemy the devil roams around incessantly like a roaring lion, looking for its prey to devour. I love that God has a beautiful future for each of us, one to prosper us, not to harm us. Psalm 112 verse 7 confirms this by saying, They will not live in fear or dread of what may come, for their hearts are firm, ever secure in their faith. I believe that God is making old things new again, especially concerning families and that which is important to them. I believe that as these families' souls continue to prosper, they will be lifted into more redeemed settings, a godlier atmosphere in spirit and physical form. Many are relocating to places that reflect their heart's desires. Some are returning to their roots. Others are moving to more peaceful neighborhoods. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 19 reminds us that to whom God has given riches and possessions, He has also given the power and ability to enjoy them and to receive this as His allotted portion and to rejoice in His labor. This is the gift of God to Him. I believe God is working to share His beauty of riches with us in many forms to demonstrate and instill His goodness. Also, I've noticed that as we've come closer to God, His grace increases and brings it all to fruition. This was true of Naomi and Ruth and their new extended family, how God swiftly restored them in Naomi's homeland after suffering loss. It was also true for King Saul's grandson, Mephibosheth, who was restored to the king's table through King David. A purposed solidity occurred for these families, a type of permanence and holy establishment. I believe God is calling us farther into manifest righteous legacy and is showing us that there is no place like a heavenly home to be experienced and shared. I believe God is bringing this around to continue to pour out in new ways. And with all this going on, he reminds us to keep his instructions and encourages our preparation 
by alerting us. Was there a time in your last season when God specifically instructed you to not look back? He did for me. That's because he had us heading into a new season we're now in. So what do you see as you look around? I see beauty and opportunity. I see new life. Matthew 7 verse 11 asks us, How much more ready is your Heavenly Father to give you wonderful gifts to those who ask Him? So pray with me if you will. Dear Lord, thank you for all of the ways you alert us to stay on track with you. Help us to continue to walk with you in every way. Help us to not drop anything that's important to your heart and plan for us. Help us to remember to stay alert and hold firmly to all that we believe. Help us to be mighty and full of courage. Help us to be strong in your spirit above our flesh. Thank you for your beauty of spirit and form. Thank you for your good gifts, even the gift of spoils. Thank you for teaching us the way we should go on the narrow path with you. May we experience it and use it for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.